Well, the United States has slapped fresh sanctions on 16 mainly Chinese and Russian individuals and companies for allegedly supporting North Korea's nuclear program. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin says Washington has found it unacceptable for individuals and companies in China, Russia and elsewhere to enable North Korea to generate income use to develop weapons of mass destruction and destabilize the Pacific region. The targeted entities and individuals are also accused of trading in North Korean energy sector and acting as a conduit to the international financial system. Crossing over to New York, joined by Professor of City University of uh, New York, Daniel Shaw. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, what do you make of these uh, added sanctions now against Chinese and, and Russian companies and individuals at this time? Well, the United States is again in complete violation of every existing international law. Uh, they look upon the United Nations and all of the covenants on the country's supposed sovereignty um, really as a plaything, as paper law. It's something that they've never respected, yet they expect other countries to uh, respect the sovereignty of, of other countries. If Russia or Iran or, or any country were to act in such an aggressive way, waging an economic, diplomatic, media, and military war against North Korea or against any country, surely there would be the harshest repercussions for that country. So what we see in place is an incredible double standard. What needs to be done, Daniel, to change this around? I mean, we, we continually talk about these double, uh, double standards. We continue to see whether they're using sanctions or in certain situations, no-fly zones. Uh, always trying to pressure uh, different uh, governments. What can, what can be done to change this reality that we're seeing more and more often now by the United States? Well, the change has to come from within the belly of the beast, uh, as it were. Uh, we know that the U.S. Congress represents the billionaires. It represents the interests of the generals and the warmongers. So we need a People's Congress, a People's Congress of resistance, uh, maximum unity among all progressive forces here in the U.S., we saw recently a vote that came to uh, both houses of Congress, where both the Senate and the House of Representatives overwhelmingly voted um, for a new regime of sanctions against Iran, against Russia, against the DPRK, with Paul Ryan actually bragging about just how intense these sanctions were. So the change will never come from uh, on high. It'll come from below. All right. Thank you so much for being with us out of New York. Daniel Shaw, professor at City University of New York.